So I've worked my way up, picking up the bumps on the end of the row, and I've got one more to do. Um, and I should perhaps say that on when I was saying about the um, where you have the yarn on the back, if you want to get this raised ridge, then perhaps you want to make a note on the uh, row two of step four, where it says slip one purlwise. Uh, you could put before that um, put the needle under the yarn, slip one purlwise, and put the yarn back between the needles, and that way you'll remember. So we'll just finish off here. Slip that stitch, pick up this bump here, this last one, put it on there, and knit it, pass the slip stitch over, turn the work, and remember if you want the raised line, put the yarn, the needle underneath the yarn, slip that first stitch purlwise and put the yarn back between the two needles and that will give you the effect. And there we are. The next step um, so as it says in, after row two in step four it says repeats row one and two until you reach the next corner which is where we've reached so um, the next step is to do another corner only this time you're only doing one corner so that's step five on your pattern which is the blue as from the blue asterisk the first the with one asterisk to the end of row 16 in step 6 with the two asterisks. So once you've completed that corner then when you move on you'll be picking up the, the, the stitches from your cast on to, to complete the, pat, the pattern across here. So if you can you can go back to um, row uh, video one and two and that will show you how to do the corner, the first part of the corner.